Hey there, everyone. For Michael Jordan, we're gonna be creating some, some special vector shapes. Um, for our first vector shape, you're gonna use the, the pen tool. That's right here. Go ahead and click on the pen tool and check your settings up here. We're making a shape, not a path. Make sure it's on shape. Fill is the color that your shape will fill in with. I'm gonna do a nice um, impact purple. Stroke is the outline of the shape. And so right now with that, that white box with the red X going through, it's saying that, that there will be no color for the outline. Um, if I were you, I would, I would keep it how it is right now, but you're welcome to, to go back once you're completely done and, and change that. Um, and, and this right here is the, the, the width of the stroke. Um, I'm gonna change it to one and just by typing in one and hitting return. Um, Start, start with that while you're making your shapes, and then, and then once you completely finish, you're welcome to go back and actually add an outline if you prefer. So I'm gonna zoom in um, on Michael Jordan's leg, like about that much. Um, I'm just using my trackpad to zoom in, but you can go to view, zoom in like this. And I'm gonna click a point on Michael Jordan's leg, like on, like on, <laughs> um, on the um, outside of his leg. And as soon as I click, it's going to create a new shape layer in the layers panel. And how we're, use, how we're gonna use this pen tool is just by clicking, click, 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 so that we can make a perfect vector shape um, around Michael Jordan. And of course, like, you know, the more zoomed in, like the more zoomed in you are, the, the closer together your points are the more precise your outline will be. And if I zoom out, so, so right now, all of my points are just sort of in a line. And so right now, the, the uh, photo is not quite sure like, like where, like which side of the shape should I be filling in? And as we go around the shoe, it becomes pretty clear that we want this part of the shape to be filling in. Um, so it's, it's looking good. This is what you want your outline to also look like, but something that's happening though is that um, now that we have all this purple, we can't actually see the, the background image anymore. So you're gonna have to go over here to opacity. Opacity just means like transparency. Um, and, and you can change that to like 50% or so, so that you're still able to see the, the purple shape, like where it's filling in, um, but you can also see the background. And I'm just gonna continue clicking along. So to speed up this video, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complete filling in Michael Jordan, but you're gonna have to go all the way around him like this. Um, include his fingers. Don't include the basketball. We'll be doing that later. Go all the way around his arm until you complete your shape, um, and be really aware of of where that color is filling in. Um, that, that, that is what your, your eventual, like, outline will look like. Um, when you're done, you're going to change the opacity back up to 100%. The opacity is pretty cool. You're able to do that for, for every layer. Um, think about the options of, of things you could do with the opacity for future work. I'm just going to go to another photo P tab that I have open with a finished Michael Jordan. And our next step will be working on the basketball. Ooh, but actually first, before you do that, make sure that you're saving your work. Go up to File, um, Save as PSD. And so if, if, you, if you close this um, and, and you want to keep working on it later, make sure that you have that PSD and, and this is going to be what you drag back into PhotoP. For the basketball, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, you're going to click and hold down on the rectangle tool. This opens up all of the shapes, and we're going to be using an ellipse. Before you do anything with your shape tool, though, just make sure that you're on the, the original photo background layer. If you're, like, if you're like on a shape layer while you're, like, and then you make another shape, it can just really mess things up with PhotoP. So before you make another shape, just make sure that you're on a, like, the, the photo background layer. Okay, and 
I am going to just click and drag to make my circle. Uh, it looks pretty good, but not quite basketball sized. So I'm going to go up to edit, transform, and scale. And just, just resize it so that it fits the basketball shape. Okay. Um, from here, you can see that X and the check mark. Just, uh, just click the, the check mark to like place um, the changes that you've made. And we're going to do something a little different also for the color. Click on the eyeball. So that, that just hid um, your, your circle shape two layer. Um, so now we're able to see the original basketball color. And to change the color of all of these shapes, so to change the color of your circle, to change the color of your Michael Jordan outline also, you are going to double click that little box in the bottom right. That opens up your color picker. And, and we know that with the color picker, you're, you're able to just like select different colors, right? Um, here's something else that you can do though. If you just click on the basketball, like, like any, anywhere on the picture, um, it tells you the exact color and finds it for you in the color picker. So click around, find a, a great orange basketball color, and then click OK. Turn your eyeball back on, and now you have a great basketball. One thing I just to just keep in mind, um, I, I'm just going to quickly show this. Um, Right now, this this looks good, right? So I have my the the thumb is like is like literally like holding the basketball. Just something to keep in mind, though. Um, depending on how you order your layers, um, you're able to just rearrange them by clicking and like dragging and then dropping. Um, right now, the the circle is in front is like on top of Michael Jordan, and so we're not able to see his thumb. So be be really aware as you're working in Photopea of the the ordering that you have. In your layers panel. Okay, our, our third thing that we are going to be doing is the outline of the basketball hoop. And a reminder, before we, before we try to make another shape, make sure that you click on background. Um, again, things can just get a little bit messed up if you're like on a shape layer and then creating a new shape. So I'm, I have the background layer selected. I'm going to be using the pen tool again. You can go up here, uh, ch choose whatever you color, whatever color you want for the hoop. It doesn't matter. Um, and you are going to do the same thing. Click one time. Uh, make sure that it creates another shape layer, and go ahead and start outlining your hoop. So it gets a little like, I mean, there, like once you get close to the net, oh my gosh, look how bad this is. Don't like, you, you, like make sure that you're zooming in and doing this better than, than what I'm doing right now really fast. Um, there, there's different, of course, different ways how you could do the net. Um, like this part isn't actually solid. So if you want, you can go around that. Um, I'm also, it's also just fine if you just want to go around it like this. Um, remember, turn down the opacity if the shape covers up your picture. Do a better job than what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just trying to get you th through this pretty fast. Okay. When you're done, turn back the opacity to 100%. Great. So now our, our last step is just going to be the, the background. And for the background, um, you're going to click on the background there. And we're going to be doing something called a gradient for the background. The, the gradient is right here. You'll click on it. And there's, there's a bunch of interesting gradient options up here at the top. Um, so so the, this one right here is just sort of like the, the default gradient. Um, right now it's yellow and black. It's, it's filling in the colors that I have down here. Okay, so change your colors down here and choose your gradient options up here. Um, I'll just choose that one. Um, there's, a, there's a, a whole lot of other interesting gradient settings as well. Um, I'm going to do linear, but, but, but like, like you, you investigate with all of these as well as blend mode. 
um, and also opacity. So a whole, we, got, we have a whole lot of thing, interesting things going on. And to make your gradient, you're just gonna make sure you're on the background layer. Just, just click a point, drag a line, like the direction you drag your line in, the, 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 how far you drag your line, it's, it's all gonna affect your gradient. Um, let go, and that's what you have. Um, I'm just gonna hit, I'm just gonna undo for a second and, and show you, show how you could do some other things too. So, I, I mean, there, there's just, there's just really like so many options that you have. I'll, um, I'll just show this one. So, so really, really mess around with those gradient settings. There, there's, there's a whole bunch of different options that you have for doing things. Um, when you finish your project, you will save it as a, as a PSD. So remember, you always want to save that, that final Photoshop file so that you are, are, if you do ever want to go back and adjust your layers, you'll, you'll be able to. And then you're going to do export as a JPEG. Click save. And the JPEG, your, your finished JPEG file is what you will be turning in on Google Classroom. Good luck with this. Let me know if you need any help later. Bye.